What's up, Fragrant World? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. Sorry, no trumpet intro today. It's it's just a little bit too late for that. I'm too late to film and play, so you just give me to start. But uh, my name is Justin Copeland. On this channel, Stay Fresh Productions, we talk about everything fragrance related. If you have an interest in that kind of content, you're in the right place. Please hit that subscribe button. Please like this video if you do like this kind of content helps with my visibility across this platform. And make sure when you do subscribe, you hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a video. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna talk about kind of a hybrid topic. We're talking about gift ideas for the upcoming holiday season, but we're also talking about clones and specifically looking at the House of Creed, which is probably one of the most cloned niche, well, mainstream niche fragrance houses, period. A lot of their scent DNAs are highly sought after, and because they're so expensive, companies have capitalized on that, tried to get some of that market share, and created their own inexpensive versions to varying degrees of success and accuracy and quality. But we're going to cover a little bit of a gamut here. And I got four Creed fragrances we're going to focus on, and I have a multitude of clones for each one. Well, two of them, I only have one clone for each one, but two of them, I have a few. So we're going to dive right into this. We're first going to start with the obvious Creed Aventus. So obviously this is a great gift idea. If you have the money to spend, this is a real easy fragrance to get into. Even if you have no experience with niche fragrances, it's fresh, a little fruity, musky, kind of mossy. It's just a nice blend of things and it is quite unique, but it's also very easy to like. So this is definitely one to check out. Again, if you have the bread, we're talking retail is over 300 bucks for this, but I don't recommend buying retail. This is the 10th anniversary bottle. If you're not familiar, they don't regularly look like this. This is the 10 year anniversary. So they have the special presentation, but you can also find the regular bottle design and you can find it discounted. Um, I did find it for about $230 which is roughly about as cheap as you'll find Creed Aventus in full bottle form. So there's that, but let's get to some alternatives. This is probably, in my opinion, one of the highest quality clones you're gonna find of Creed Aventus. It is not a cheap one, but it is cheaper than Aventus. This is from Parfums Vintage, who's known for their Creed Aventus renditions. They have tons of them and I have many of them, but this is the one I've worn and enjoyed the most. This is called Emperor, which comes in two formulations, two concentrations. This is the Eau de Parfum. And this retails for 95 bucks. You're not gonna find it cheaper than that unless you get a sample from them. I think you can get a two and a half mil sample or unless you find someone decanting it somewhere on the internet. But you do get what you pay for. You get fantastic performance out of this. You get a fruitier, punchier version of Aventus, but still you get that mossy muskiness even a little bit of vanilla in there. And I've got more compliments from this than I ever got from Aventus. Great scent. If you got a little bit more money to spend and you want something that's better performing, honestly, this is a way to go. But still, save some money compared to Aventus. All right, the next one up. This is coming from an up and coming clone house. They're getting some talk here and there. I've talked about them a couple times recently from Dossier. And they are strictly doing clones and they do a series of fragrances where they're, again, doing impressions of very popular niche and designer scents. The great thing about them is that pricing is incredible. All the fragrances that clone niche fragrances are $39. All those that clone designer fragrances are $29. This is a clone of Creed Aventus that they call Musky Oak Moss. And I gotta say, it's pretty dang close. Dossier does have a little bit of a DNA to them. In the background, the woodiness is interesting. It's hard to explain. I can't say it's the most natural woodiness as it dries, but for the life of the scent, it smells pretty close and it just simply smells pleasant. The greatest thing about Dossier, it's gonna come in this very simple box. It's basically cardboard. When you receive this, or if you gift this to someone, make sure you let them know not to spray the bottle because on the inside of the box, it comes with this little card insert, which gives you information about the scent, and it's gonna come with a sample. And the intention is that you use this sample first. Spray this, see how you feel about it. If you don't like it, pack it all up, send it back 
full refund, which I think is fantastic. But if you do, then you got a great scent on your hands and you got a little bit extra with the sample. But I do recommend this one, $39. Again, you're not gonna get the most amazing quality and blend, but you are gonna get a nice impression of Aventus. It's undeniably reminiscent of it and it's not gonna break the bank. So that's another great idea. And the cheapest clone of Aventus that I have, I've gone through several in my collection, some I've owned before and don't have anymore. So I'm not gonna talk about all of them because there's plenty I'm leaving out. But this one, I gotta say, it's not the best. It smells good. It actually smells of decent quality, but it's so light. It is just, this is like a two hour fragrance. From Lamborghini, this is called Invincible. This is most definitely a Aventus clone. Very, very light. More on the green citrusy side of things, but it does have that familiar DNA. It's pleasant. You can find this around 25 bucks discounted online. Do not buy from Lamborghini. They're gonna charge you like at least 40. It's not worth that. You can find this on Fragrance Night for like 25 bucks. Maybe cheaper if you get a tester bottle that has no cap. Very cheap, decent quality yet again. I'm gonna spray this in the air. Yeah, a little bit fruity, citrusy, a little musky. Just doesn't have very many legs, but you get what you pay for with it. It smells good. It'll get compliments. You just wear this in the summertime. In the hot summer heat, this is gonna do fine. That's Lamborghini Invincible. Okay, the next one we're moving to, this is another favorite of mine from Creed called Silver Mountain Water. Now, unfortunately, like many Creeds, it has been reformulated, so it does not perform as well as it used to, and even the scent profile might be a little bit watered down compared to its former formulations. This is Silver Mountain Water. I have a newer 50 milliliter bottle. This was probably from last year. Wonderful scent, very unique. Came out in the 1990s. It's a timeless scent. Fresh, kind of cooling, icy, metallic in a way. Has a bit of an inky vibe, has a bit of a tea vibe, and even a touch of a fruitiness from Black Current. Really very uh, unique scent and kind of a crowd pleaser. You wouldn't think so. It does smell a little unusual, but it gets compliments. This one you're gonna find a little cheaper. In fact, the rest of these are gonna be a little cheaper than Aventus. You can find this on FragranceNet for about 170 bucks. Maybe a little cheaper elsewhere, but discounters are gonna have it under $200 for sure. So you're not gonna break the bank too bad with this one. But let's talk about probably the best alternative period to a Creed fragrance or maybe to any fragrance. I did recently review this. This is called Club de Nuit Siage from Armoff. And this is a dead ringer for Creed Silk Mountain Water. They get just about every facet of it down and the performance is better. It'll last you eight hours on the skin. It stays fresh. It's scary how close this is and the quality is good. This is a new release, so you're not gonna find it super cheap. I, you could probably find it on Amazon around 80 bucks. You might be able to find it cheaper on eBay if you find it from a reputable seller. But not bad, and especially compared to the Creed, we're talking less than half the price. Definitely one to check out if you wanna gift someone a fragrance that is gonna be unique, but still pleasing. This is definitely one to check out. Club de Nuit Siage. And we got Dossier's impression. They, yes, they do have an impression of Silver Mountain Water. They call this musky green tea. This is yet again 39 bucks and the same principles apply. It'll come with the sample in the box. Make sure that is used first. And if you don't like it, you can send it back for refund. If you do like it, then you keep it. This one is very close to, not as close as the Armoff. The dry down doesn't quite have the same quality that the Armoff has in relation to the Creed. This one goes in a slightly different direction. It's not quite as musky as it, even though it's in the name musky, it's not as musky as the Armoff because the Armoff is so close to the Creed. This is not quite as close, but it, it's undeniably silver mountain water for sure. Cool little magnetic cap with these. Again, 39 bucks for 50 milliliters. A great deal here, I really do think so. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative, this is one to check out from Dossier, once again. Musky Green Tea, funny little name, huh? A definite favorite from the house. This came out in the 1980s, maybe 1985, something like that. Timeless scent, Green Irish Tweed from Creed, obviously. And the name does it justice, but the scent does so much more. 
It is green for sure, fresh, soapy, but it does dry down to this creamy muskiness. Sandalwood is down there. There's a beautiful powdery nature from iris in here, a lemon verbena note. It is very bright green, fresh, soapy, reminiscent of like dewy grass or maybe a dewy forest, something like that. But it's so classy, such a classy scent. It dries down very beautifully. You can find this one even today for maybe 200 bucks, maybe a little less, but this one's a little more expensive because I think it's a little bit more popular than Silver Mountain Water. Especially for some, an older gentleman, for your father or someone or an uncle, this is a great gift if they want to smell fresh and clean. But we got one alternative that gets really close. This is $18, yet again from the House of Armagh, probably one of the most well-known clones of Green Irish Tree. This is Trade and Wheat. Yes, 18 bucks on Fragrance Net. And essentially what this is, it's very close. 90, 95% close to Green Irish Tweed. It doesn't quite have the same quality as it dries down. There's something about the dry down, the, the base notes of that Creed scent. You just can't really, you get what you pay for. It smells a little bit more synthetic here, but not in a bad way. It actually comes off a little, maybe a little bit safer, a little bit more appealing to more people because a lot of people do say that Green Irish Tweed can smell a little bit dated, kind of, like an older man. I don't really agree with that, but if a lot of people are saying it, then a lot of people are obviously getting that vibe. But this almost modernizes it in a way. You're still gonna get decent performance out of this, at least six hours on the skin, if not more. And again, 18 bucks for 100 milliliters. <laughs> you can't go wrong. Train the wheat, this would make a fantastic gift for someone who wants to smell fresh and clean and easy. All right, finally, fantastic scent for the summertime. A definite classic from Creed, again, from the 1990s. We got Melusine Imperial. Fruity, musky, aquatic, sea salty scent. Perfect for really almost any occasion, but definitely like tropical vacation in the summertime at the beach in the sun with heat, it just comes to life. It's so, so nice. And this one is a little bit on the cheaper side in relation to the other ones. You can find it around 160 bucks. Again, possibly less if you look around, but again, not cheap by any means. So if you're looking for an alternative, yet again, our moth is kind of the king here. They have this release that just came out last year. They call it Club de Nui Milestone. Again, supposed to be a copy of Creed Melusine Imperial. And dang, they got close with this one. You get that same musky quality. You do get the aquatic nature. The fruitiness is a little bit more amped up to me. Let me spray this in the air. It's not quite as musky as the original. It's a little bit more fruity and a little bit more salty. It packs a bit of a punch. It's not powdery. Uh, Millicent Imperial does have a, an iris note that makes it kind of powdery. This does not have that and some people might like that more. You can find this fragrance about 50 bucks on the discounters. It came out last year, so the price has gone down. It's not a cheapie by any means, but it's really not expensive. For 110 milliliters, I think, 50 bucks for a great scent. It does pay homage to a fragrance that is quite unique. And so therefore this does come off not like your everyday scent. So whoever's gonna get this is gonna smell different and smell very appealing. That is Club Lean Week Milestone. Check them out. All the links to these fragrances will be down below. Okay, I would love to know, what is your favorite Creed clone? Do you have a go-to clone fragrance that, again, copies maybe one of your favorite Creed fragrances that you just simply don't wanna afford? But maybe even more general than that, how do you feel about clones? How do you feel about cloning Creed fragrances in particular? Because cloning is a touchy subject, but I think the conversation around it can change depending on who we're cloning. And Creed, as we know, is notorious for reformulating them so that they don't perform the way that they used to. They don't have the same character in terms of density of the scent and the prices have gone up. Terrible trifecta. So in that regard, some people might consider it justified to clone them, but let me know what you think. I'd love to know. If you like the video, once again, please, please like the video. It really means a lot. It goes a long way again to help me get more viewers uh, here on YouTube. 
And once again, if you're not subscribed, join the Fresh Squad. It costs you nothing. All you do is click that subscribe button. You can always change your mind later if you're unhappy, but would love to have you back. But nonetheless, thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.